rise up. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. What do you want to say? Uh, I want to. Good morning, everyone. I want to appreciate uh, my father in the Lord, uh, Daddy Prophet Isaac Anto, and our mama, and everyone in the house. I really appreciate God. God has been awesome. My wife and I came here, you know, we've been looking for fruit of the womb for the past four years thereabouts. It has been battle. My parent has been on my neck. Ah, where is baby? Or oh, yes, you will leave this marriage. Ah, the thing has been bothering me. So I took my wife down to Papa here. And um, when was that? that was June uh, 19 last year. That was the time we came here that day. And when we came, Daddy prophesied and said, it is done. And just that word, we believe it. My dear brother and sister, it was so marvelous. We returned back to Nigeria. It was exactly as it happened. In fact, when my wife even was pregnant, we returned back, return back to Nigeria, Daddy. We've been doing tests several in Nigeria. There was no, nothing there. They said they can't see anything. It was negative. We did scan, we did test everything. Nothing was there. So when we came there, returned back, they found the bouncing baby boy there. And to cut the long story short, we've been to many churches in Nigeria. They will just collect our money. We won't see any result at all. But when we came down here, Daddy they didn't collect anything. <laughs> Celebrate the grace in the house. Let me give the word. Praise the Lord. I'm so happy. I'm so delighted. Because I never thought in my life I'll be able to be a child. When I got married, there were a lot of prophecies and they were saying, I won't be able to give birth, that I will not be able to bear a child. But despite that, we believed that there is a God that can do all things. That is a God of possibilities. We took it upon ourselves and we prayed. We kept on praying, we kept on believing God. We we're visiting lots and lots of churches in Nigeria. Uh, they, were, they were just, demanding for money, we're giving them, yet there was no solution. We kept on moving from one church to another, from one church to another. They were just collecting money, and that was it. There was no solution. So one day we were watching um, the TV, then I saw Daddy. Then I was telling my husband here, I was telling him, I said, I have seen this man of God in my dream before. And he has been laying hands on my womb that he should take me there. Then he said he knows the church that is in Ghana. So I said we should not waste time. That we should make sure that we get to Ghana. So we looked for money and we came down here. When we got here, um, that was June 19, last year. Um, <laughs> when we got here, we did a frame, a frame of daddy. We didn't even know that it was his birthday. We just decided that we should just give it to him for the love that we have for him. So when we got here, Daddy gave a word and he said to me, he said, you are looking for a baby. I was shocked. I said, yes, sir. He said, don't worry, it is done. I said, amen, but Daddy, I want you to lay hand on my womb. So Daddy put his hand on my womb. Then immediately I felt this coolness inside the womb. And I was like, I've never felt this way before. So when we, when we got out, we were, going to, we were going to our hotel where we lodged. Then I was telling my husband, I said, all the churches that you have been taking me to, they were doing deliverance, different types of deliverance, but I've never felt this coolness before. For a whole week, I was just feeling the coolness. So as we got to Nigeria, the following week, I was telling my husband that ah, it seems I'm pregnant. My husband said, <laughs> My husband said to me, he said, ah, Are you sure? I said, Yes. Let us go and do tests. Before that time, I had already taken this um, 
normal PT test, this normal one we do use at home. I did it, it was positive. I showed my husband, I said it's a lie, that he doesn't believe, that we must go to the hospital first. <laughs> so we got to the hospital and we did the test. When they gave me the test report, I said no, they should give it to him because I know it's already positive. So they gave it to him and he read it. When he read it, he was just jumping, he was jubilating. We were so shocked. It was unbelievable. One month came, two months came. Even people that were seeing me around with the pregnancy, my neighbors and people around, they were like, are you sure this is pregnancy? They were saying that I put something into my stomach. Some said I was putting clothes inside the stomach. I kept on laughing because I know the God that is here. I know the grace that is here. I was laughing. When three months came, I started bleeding. So I called, we called Papa. Papa said, there is no problem. And immediately Daddy said, there is no problem. The bleeding ceased. I didn't see the bleeding again. So that was it. Three months, four months, five months, six months, seven months. I was healthy. Eight months, nine months, I was healthy. We still called Papa. We said, Papa, it's time for the baby to come out. And Papa said, I've told you, there is no problem. It is settled, it is settled. And that was it. We entered into the favor room and <laughs> behold, God brought out this, this handsome, bouncing baby boy. <laughs> Glory be to God. Why don't you lift up your hand and appreciate the Lord? Appreciate the Lord. Appreciate the Lord. This is a profound. In fact, I was I was shocked when they called me that they are in the country. Please, where in Nigeria do you people reside? Delta State. From here to Delta now. Hey, plane from Delta to Lagos, from Lagos to Ghana. Um, viewers all over the world, I don't know what you have been looking for, be it the fruit of the womb, be it anything that you're looking for. I just want you to have faith and believe. Believe in the Lord your God and He will surely do it. He's a God of possibility. He can do all things. Just have that faith and believe. And I'm sure the Lord will do it the same way He did it for us. God bless you. My name is uh, Pastor Elisha from Nigerian Delta State. Uh, you see, Daddy is a very wonderful man of God, and uh, in fact, I've not seen someone like him, honestly. Because all the places you'll be going to in Nigeria, you pay money. After you pay money, you can't see evidence or whatever. They just collect money around. But we got here, Papa didn't collect anything. And he lay hands on my wife and said, It is done. And it happened exactly as. The Lord used him to spoke it out. We thank, we appreciate the name of the Lord, and we thank God for the grace of God upon our Father in the Lord, Prophet Isaac, and to for being a, a wondrous uh, father to us, not just a father, but a phenomenal and a great general in the body of Christ. And I want to use this opportunity to encourage uh, every one of you that is connecting to this grace. Stay connected and don't disconnect, because your prophet is your prophet. And where you stay connected, where that is where lies the streams of your, of your prophetic unction. So this this place is a genuine altar. So stay connected to Father, our uh, Father in the Lord, Prophet, like is it unto, and your life will never remain the same again. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Amen. So and also I want to use this opportunity after Papa prayed last month. God bless us with a car and also a land of our home, and that is why we are here to give God the, all the glory that we must return back to Ghana to testify what God has done for us through this wondrous ministry. Thank you, Heaven. 